Hello everyone. Happy Friday. I am quickly jumping on. It's been such a super exciting and busy month for me. Of course, if you guys were on my last video, you know that I was awaiting the uh, uh, birth of my granddaughter for my son. This was his first baby. And um, I was thrilled about that uh, the opportunity to be during the uh, labor, which I was able to do. There were a few complications. So uh, unfortunately, um, since she needed a C-section, I wasn't able to see the baby come and take the first breath, but it's okay. I'm so happy right now. The baby is doing fine. Mommy is doing fine. She has so much, so much hair. And um, I'm really excited about that. But then on top of that, I have my other daughter's anniversary uh, party that someone was throwing as a surprise uh, uh, soon after that. And I was still having jet lag, but I had to help. Um, they wanted me to cook Spanish rice. So I had to do that. Um, and of course, that took away a couple of days that I had to do because I leave tomorrow. I leave tomorrow for the uh, Dolls of the World in uh, Riley, North Carolina. I'm super excited. I'm going to meet up with some of my friends. And so busy packing that and finalizing a few dolls before I need. Um, I didn't want to leave things on, on a loose end. But anyway, it was really super busy. But I wanted to come on really really briefly i can't take a whole lot of time but i just wanted to um share something else with you uh for the next step as far as um how i get uh, my coloring um based on the uh um primary colors i'm sorry <laughs> i'm still lost a little bit but anyway guys i hope everybody's doing well and uh so far for me like i said i've been just super busy and um Oh my gosh, and I'm rambling on. So let's move on. What I did to get to this color here, and I still have one more step that I'm going to share with you. Again, this is using primary colors, but this time around, um, as you can see, this is a lot more liquefied. So I did my wash with that. But for this, I used some um, thinning uh, medium, not medium, um, thinner. And, um, but I did right from the jar so i took my um pigment for my to start my coloring my primary colors right from the jar on my brush and i added each one to there until i got a color that looks like this this is you're gonna get like um i don't know like a bronzy warm color as you can see and the thickness you can see how it, it, it clings to the bottom of the bowl so that's what you want. And so then what I'd like to do is to add to it um, a little bit of the flesh color. And it gives it, and you're gonna see this transformation real quick with me. It gives it this nice little um, soften the color because like I said, I want her to be um, more on the Caucasian side, very uh, light. So I did the, uh, this is, um, I was a um, flesh 08 yes from Genesis heat set paint so this is about how much I'm gonna take and I just want to show you how I um, just soften the color a little bit so you can see that the flesh 08 just give it a little bit more uh, softness to the color takes a little bit of the edge off I'm gonna add just a little bit more and then you, then you want to make sure you stir it in. So a little bit more like that. I don't know if you guys can see. So, so that's just my next step. So you guys can see this coloring. See, it, you would, it's not going to be this way when you put it on the baby. But this layer is a little bit more um, on the um, thicker side. Because you want it now to start seeing some coloring uh, um, with the uh, wash you don't see it as much but with this one you're going to see it but the way I apply it I apply it because I want to use texture 
Um, so I use a, a sponge that I cut out and um, this is the uh, texture style that I use for right now. I do want to share with you guys though that I from I found this group of sponge that is already designed for me. I haven't figured out which um, I'd like and how and what um, stages I want to be using this. I gotta watch um, the um, the video and this is from Eborn um, Babies uh, Nursery and uh, the um, nursery is from a small nursery where you would be able to get this she, it's all linked in her channel if you guys are interested in using that but i'm going to be using that and eventually when i get a little bit more knowledge about it but for now i'm going to stick with my own and um i'm going to share with you very quickly on the very first what i do with the head okay so let's do that So I like to add it to the sponge and then it's going to go, I always start, like to start in the back like most people because this is where we uh, do our, you know, either hair painting or rooting. So if you don't like something, this is where you can correct it. I like it so far. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, let me see. Let me move some of this stuff out of my way. I'm not used to doing, but you can see the texture, guys. So this is going to, of course, um, once it flash off, you see less of it, but um, it'll give the baby skin tone a more realistic and not so flat. Um, so I really love it. So I'm gonna keep going so you guys can um, see the finish product in fact i'm going to do this um off camera because basically it's going to be very simple so i'm going to go ahead and do it off camera um and then share with you guys um the finished product okay okay so as you can see here i finished the baby it hasn't flashed off um the areas that i did not apply was on the lips on the tip of the nose, um, on the ears, I did behind the ears, of course, all over on the eyelids. Again, I skipped the uh, the ears and I did the back of it. And then once it flashed off, I'm going to take a look at it. And um, if it needs another layer, then I'm going to do that before I heat it up. But next, I'm going to share with you what I will do and not do when it comes to the hands. On the hands, I'm gonna do the same thing on top of the uh, the um, hand right here. Uh, I don't know what you call this part. And all over the arms in this area. And I'm gonna skip over the, the inside of the hand is what you call it. I'm gonna skip that because I wanna add a little bit more rosiness to that when I do it. And I'm probably just gonna do it flat okay so that's what i'm gonna do i'll share with you once this is finished all right as you can see i did it on the uh, top of the hand the arms the inside and the um outer part and i skip over the the um the inside of the hand and again this may uh, to some people they think this would look at this as modeling but no it's more of uh, texture um paint painting um i got this um tip from alt's painting um, when she did her ethnic and i thought i really loved that so i'll give credit to her um so but uh yeah this is what i do with the hand i'm gonna chill um the feet next or the legs i'm sorry okay with the feet on the bottom of the feet i'm not gonna do that but i am going to do the top of the feet and carefully go around this area so that I'm not going below this edging and I'm gonna do all of it around the leg, inside and on the outside. And I'll share with you guys what it looks like. So here is the leg 
did not do the bottom of the feet, but you can see how I did the top, leaving space between the top and this edging right here. And there you go. And that's it. Easy peasy. And then on to the next step.